If you are facing with different challenges regarding savings in heat treatment, this episode of our Seco Talks will be for you. Let me talk to my colleagues, my experts about this topic. Hey, Michal. Hey, hey, Adam. Hey. hey. Quick question. What do you think savings in heat treatment actually means? Uh, there is roughly about one month from now when we have our customers here, Andre, when we do the heat treatment processes for mm -hmm. money, let's say, okay. and uh, uh, we reduce uh, um, time for preparing batch for this customer because of modification of the instrumentation. The we fixture, 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 or baskets, fixture. yes? Yeah, correct, correct. Uh, we did it in the standard fixture and right now we modified it and yeah, saving the time. In your opinion, I understand, thinking about dedicated fixture, we can save how much you said? Roughly about 20%, which is one hour before and one, one hour after. So hmm? having dedicated fixture, we can increase efficiency by 20%, making the savings in heat treatment. Yeah, Am I correct. right? Always. Hmm? Thank you. Hey, NJ. Hey, if, I, if I say savings in heat treatment, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Definitely operational costs. So, how do you see it? Uh, especially in the matter of uh, long time processes, like, for example, gas nitriding or ferritic carbon uh, nitriding as well. Okay. This is the key factor, I would say. Long time of the process, what does it mean? It might... By the uh, cost perspective. In, in, in the uh, matter of night riding, it might take uh, even more than 20 hours. How about the utilities? Uh, that's the, as I said, that's the key factor, okay. the, the consumption in such a long process. You said gas night riding, so gas consumption? Gas consumption, definitely. Okay. Ammonia consumption. What we can do with this? We can save it. Okay, how? <laughs> uh, well, as a best, uh, one of the best way I can, I can mention our zero flow technology, uh, which might reduce this uh, operational cost even 10 times. 10 times gas reduction? The amount of gas? Yes. Do you have any real case? Yes. Uh, actually, we already introduced uh, our technology for the treatment of very similar gears like that one. And the annual production uh, of our customer was 1.2 uh, million gears per year. Uh -huh. And before uh, implementation of our technology, the annual consumption of the ammonia was 160 ton of ammonia per year. Big number. Big number, really okay. big number. And now uh, the consumption is 16 tons per year. Unbelievable. So, so yeah. we can easily multiply the reduction of the tons of ammonia multiplied by the cost of one ton of ammonia. And yeah. this, is the, this is the real saving. Yeah, I think uh, uh, every producer exactly know the rate for the, for the kilogram of the ammonia. So the calculation should be pretty easy. Yeah, NJ, perfect. We got it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Adam. If you had to find savings in heat treatment, where would you look first? Savings. Uh, I think we can find it in electrical energy consumption. Perfect. Control cabinets. Control cabinets. Good. Look up there. Yeah. There is a limit displayed. We've got, as a company, a contracted power limit. We've got a commercial heat treatment shop. They also have. They also have. Yeah. If, if we will exceed it, we are paying extra money. So. Yes we can uh, save some money. What we can do to avoid? We can optimize uh, the energy consumption to not exceed this uh, contracted uh, level. Okay, and what exactly you can support? We can uh, apply our software together with, uh, with the hardware on the furnaces uh, to optimize uh, the to monitor, the to monitor, manage, optimize, yes. Yeah, to not exceed the, the contracted level. So in this case, we can avoid penalties and save the money. Exactly. That's the savings. Perfect. We got it. Grzegorz, hi. Hello, Adam. How are you? How are you? Where do you see 
uh, savings in heat treatment industry? How do you see it? Well, it's simple. As you know, time is money. You're right. So where is the time? How we can probably reduce the time? If you want the savings in heat treatment, you want to, you need to shorten the time of the process. You need okay. to. Uh, how you can do it? So you need to. It's very simple. You need to process more parts okay. in the same or shorter amount of time. Any solution? Solutions. There are plenty, depending on units, of course. Uh, one of them is to use double or triple chamber furnaces. Okay. So we can make the efficiency more comparing to the single chamber. Any other? Yes. So maybe let me tell you also about the triple chamber furnace. Okay. So with the three chambers, you can have three loads simultaneously at the same time in the furnace. That means in, compar in direct comparison with a single chamber furnace, you can save even 50% of the amount of time. So that's a lot. So you can reduce the tact, make the more parts, and in this case, save the money. Any other, yes. any other ideas? You can heat up faster. Good. How to do it? You can use <laughs> convection heating. Okay. So speed up the heating in the lower range, below the 750 C degree. Yes? Exactly. You apply convection heating with gas, nitrogen or argon, and that is why the, let's say, due to this fact that heat transfer is better and you heat up the parts faster. Great. And the last but not least, if you can choose the, the last parameter for today. You can cool down faster. Okay. And how to do it? How to do it, you can see in this episode about cryocooling under this link here. Our before discussion. Good. Greg, we have it. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> I hope we all know more about savings in heat treatment industry. Thank you for watching today's episode and I invite you for more.